All right, uh, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to record this. This is a test sample. I went into Tinkercad and did just a simple little square because I wanted to test this custom G code uh, that I found. A little bit of extra hang in there, bucko. That's all right, it'll print out. Um, I want to test this G code is this is uh, the M600 code with a couple of arguments added so that it will allow the user to change the filament um, because I'm just learning uh, I'm just learning this system and I'm about out of my first spool of black PLA and this payday I'm gonna order some new colors but I've I want to experiment with getting additional uh, colors uh, in a single print I only have one extruder on the reality ender 3 v3 SE and so Play around with stuff. Looks like we got a little bit of gunk hanging out, so that'll be interesting too. So what this this is a simple Tinkercad uh, block. I just did a square. I shrunk it down to two millimeters, and then in the code after, right before layer five, I added the M600 code. It should um, execute, and that's a built-in command in the. Marlin firmware. So if you plug that into your G code where you want it, it's going to pause uh, and be all automated. And we'll have some some extra things. It's going to automatically pause and do some things, and then we can change our filament and resume. But I just kind of want to record this to see how it goes. Sorry if that's loud. Okay, so here we go. G code is activated. It goes to the starting point. Um, it's already paused it. You can see print is now available, but then it's going to extrude a little bit. My filament's all wiggly. And then it's going to beep saying, hey, user. That's telling me. Hey, um, we need to change the filament. Now, I should be able to just pull this right out. Bang. It's retracted the filament. Uh, and then, hold on, I need to put it back in. Hang on. I'm going to snip that. At the correct 45 degrees, so we don't have anything crazy going on. Snip that. And then pull the lever to the left. Push the filament all the way down until it can't go down any further, which is quite a bit. Okay, I reinserted the filament, and then over here, you come over and you want to adjust it back to print. And then we should see some extrude. There we go, it's extruded some. Print. It's extruded some, and then it's going to go <laughs> continue doing its thing. Grab that. Uh, I adjusted the default that I got off ChatGPT was 300 millimeters, and it extruded way more than would be remaining in the extruder. So I adjusted it back down to 10. I thought, let's just play around with 10, see how that goes. But this typically would be another color, but because I only have black, um, it's going to continue printing in black. So definitely something to check out if you um, <clears throat> feel comfortable 
you can open the you can open the G code in just like Notepad, uh, and here's what that would look like. Let me cut to uh, yeah. Well, that, that's what this would no, that would look like. Where's my code right here? I added uh, a semicolon, I believe, is what that is. That's uh, the <clears throat> that's the command in the um, in the G code to indicate a uh, comment. You can see here it's layer five was already there, so I just looked for layer whatever, uh, and then I added the M six hundred B two is the beeping, X ten and Y ten and Z ten are the coordinates for it to automatically go to. E negative five is going to extrude uh, five uh, negative five, so it's going to retract the filament out, and then L ten. Uh, is the command that after the user hits print uh, on the panel is how much filament to extrude before continue printing. So it's a pretty simple command um, that you can use. Sorry, it's wiggly. I'm trying to hold my phone up. It's a pretty simple command that you can enter uh, if you want more information about that. In the comments, I'll put the uh, link to the Marlin documentation for that so that you can see more about what you want, how you want to adjust that if you want to. I could add B, I could have it's, uh, no beeps, uh, or I could have 13 beeps, I could have 20 beeps. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. There's additional co um, coding uh, arguments that you can put into that M600 command, but uh, as you can see, it worked pretty. It worked pretty well. You can see what I look like. It worked pretty well. Uh, I'm not unhappy with it. Uh, oh, I still have it on fuzzy. <laughs> I have it on fuzzy print, which is fine. Uh, the fuzzy print just adds some texture on the outer wall. Uh, I'll have to change that for the next one. But anyway, that's how you would use the M. 600 code in your G code blocks or wherever you want that um, to switch out your filament if you only have one extruder on your 3D printer.